little honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel. But don't just sit there, treasures. Come on, let's get busy. <laughs> what have we got in Granny Murray's shelves today, darling? Rachel, we're going to make a railway. Two lines. Do you like playing with trains? Sure. That's my boy. Maybe coming round like choo choo. Who can make a noise like a train? Choo choo. All aboard. <laughs> well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel. But someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh, it's Lisa with Raymond. Hello there. Raymond. Hiya, Granny Murray. Oh, and Lisa. Come on, we do honey pies and see everyone. Oh, have a shot of the train sugar plum. <laughs> We're having a bit of a railway day today, Raymond. Really? That's so exciting. So, what sort of things are you going to be doing? Oh, well, first of all, why don't you guys dress Claude up as an engine driver? <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, why don't we steam over here for a bit of a sit down? Oh, good idea. All aboard the Granny Murray Express. Choo choo. <laughs> choo choo. <laughs> Oh, so you're having a special train day. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. Oh, I know. I'm taking the children to see some trains. But do you have any inside information about the railways? Well, oh, well, it's hard work for a start and everything has to run like clockwork. Timing is the key. Timing? <laughs> Timing. You see, the trains have to leave on time and arrive on time. Oh, yes. And in the boofy car, everything has to be timed to the second. I have to know just the right time to smile at the passengers and then I have to know the right time to start pouring the tea so we aren't going around a bend because I might spill it. Oh, I'm sure. No, no. A waste can't time. I mean, a, a time can't waste. I mean, I mean <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, <laughs> darling, I think you're getting a wee bit muddled. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, take one thing at a time. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's better. Do you know, I'll have lots of chances to relax later on. I've got exactly an hour off in Helen's Bridge and I'm going to relax and go for a walk on the beach. Oh, good for you. Oh, Claude's dressed. <laughs> Look at you, Claude. What do you think, Raymond? Well, you could drive my train any day, Claude. <laughs> Here you are, Daddy. Ooh, thanks, Lisa. A smiley sun picture. <laughs> Bye, Lisa. <laughs> well, I better get off to work. Come on, then. <laughs> Bye. Now remember, take one thing at a time. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. We'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Raymond. Make sure he gets the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? OK, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Left! OK, left to the station I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that away Hello, taxi! Hello, tank! Hello, trolley! Hello, plank! Hello, lorry! Hello, bank! I go down. Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Up! You told me the way I go. Thank you! You showed me the way I know. 
Thanks for that. Now what? Oh yeah, I need to get changed for work. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, Lisa's son picture. Oh. <laughs> now it's time to start work on the sunshine special. Oh. <laughs> Nine o'clock. We are off. Hey there, Raymond. Hi, Dr Juno. And where might you be off to on this fine and glorious morning? <sighs> I'm going to spend the whole day chilling out on Helen's Bridge Beach. Aha. Uh -huh. Then why don't you try one of my special fruit cocktails? It's called a chill out, chill down. Oh, sounds perfect. So, have you got the day off work? Oh, it's going to be fantastic for getting about work and just relaxing. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, you're telling me. Everyone needs to switch off and relax sometimes. Oh, well, this will relax you in a second. That's pound fifty, please, madame. There you are. <laughs> I'm going for a walk in Helensbridge Beach myself later. Oh, good. Chill out and go for a paddle. Oh, well, I hadn't planned on paddling. I haven't got any beach stuff with me. No? Here, have my spare towel. Oh, thanks. As your doctor, I order you to chill. Oh. <laughs> I wish you and me were off to the beach together, Lisa. I'd love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Wow, can you see the Trange Islands? Oh, yeah. Oh, look, look at all the lovely colours on it. Oh, they're brilliant, aren't they? Yeah. How many trains can you see? I can see two. I can see. Oh, Lisa, I wonder if your dad's on that train, what do you think? Yeah. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, on my child will soon be back. <laughs> I want to be with you, Daddy. Clickety-clack. Off on my travels, soon coming back, Lisa. <laughs> hey, Raymond, you thinking of Lisa? Huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> you caught me taking some time out, Rudy. And what about you? Are you off to have fun somewhere today? Hey, I'm always having fun. I'm delivering a load of swimming shorts to my mate Terry in Helen's Bridge Market. Oh, I bet they sell like hotcakes in this hot weather. Hey, Raymo, I reckon you should buy a pair. You would be the coolest dude on the beach in a pair of these. Oh, do you think so? Besides, you're going to need a pair of swimming shorts if you're going to take a dip in the sea during your lunch break. Oh, well, that's true. Oh, OK, I'll take this pair. There you go. They're yours for a tenner, mate. Oh, um, uh, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Raymo. I'll be back later to spend it. <laughs> right. I've got my beach things sorted for later. But first, I'd better get down to some hard work. I love my train. I love to do chocolate, lemonade, or tea. I'm just very happy serving you. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, making special moments on my way. I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast. Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. Being nice is what I love the most. So happy being me, meeting all the people on the train. Can I help you clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, wheeling trolleys, weaving to this way. I'll do a trick and make the journey quick. Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way, loving all the things I do each day. Bringing smiles and happiness my way. I love my train. Oh, we're arriving. 12 o'clock, bang on time. Helen's Bridge, ladies and gentlemen, all change. <laughs> Thanks, Raymond. Enjoy your walk on the beach. <laughs> and don't forget to wear your new swimming shorts, Raymond. Bye. <laughs> of course I won't. See you both soon. Right. Oh, 
Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Oh, you know, Dr. Juno was right. It really makes you feel good to just relax and chill out sometimes. <laughs> I wonder if the water is warm. Oh, it's lovely. <sighs> wow, the sun is hot. <laughs> Whoops, mustn't forget my sun cream. <laughs> so, I wonder how you're doing, Lise, my little ray of sunshine. <laughs> I want to put this near the train. Here we go. Lovely. Right, the Granny Murray Express is ready to go. Oh, oh wait a minute. <laughs> we need our guard's whistles. There we are. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh, oh, look how fast the wheels are going round, Mickey John. Oh, clickety clack, clickety clack. On my travel soon be back. <laughs> I wonder if your dad's trains reach the seaside yet, Lisa. <laughs> I'll take you to the beach soon, Lise. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Uh, two coffees and a cheese sandwich, certainly, sir. Huh? Oh, where am I? This isn't the buffet car. Oh, <laughs> silly me, this is the beach in my hour off. <laughs> Hang on. One o'clock. Oh, one o'clock! I'm supposed to be back at work by now. Oh, where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's. Granny Murray was planning a special train day, and she said that she was taking the children to see some trains later. I told her that the most important thing to remember about trains was timing. Everything has to run like clockwork. At nine o'clock, the train set off, and Dr. Juno came into the buffet car. She was off to spend the day chilling out on Helensbridge Beach. She lent me her spare towel, in case I fancied a paddle in my hour off. At 10 o'clock, Rudy came in. He was on his way to Helen's Bridge Market with lots of swimming shorts. So I bought a funky new pair. At 12 o'clock, we arrived at Helen's Bridge. I had an hour off to relax. So I took my towel and swimming shorts and went for a walk on the beach. I had a paddle too, and then sat in a deck chair for a sunbathe. And then I realized I was late getting back to work. I must have fallen asleep in the sun. Now remember, take one thing at a time. Take one thing at a time. Okay, so the train will be leaving soon and I'm still on the beach in my swimming shorts. But what will I do first? Dress or run? Run or dress? Well, I have to take one thing at a time and keep calm. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it, I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong, I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. He's going to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. <sighs> Made it. Ah, madam. Two ice creams, please. Oh, how about two of my special Knickerbocker glories? Will it take long? Oh, not at all, madam. Don't worry. Everything in the buffy car is timed to the second. <laughs> and my knickerbocker glories are made with one thing at a time. <laughs> Tuck in. <laughs> oh, it's all sunshine here, Lisa. I hope you're happy too. There we are, Poppet. <laughs> are we all enjoying our juice? Mm, it's perfect on a hot day like this. Mickey John, you've not touched yours. Yeah, yeah, I, I just want to get the train back to the station first. Oh, I 
think you should have a job working with Lisa's dad on the trains, Mickey John. Woohoo! Come on, we in. Look who's here, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Have you had a good day with Granny Murray? Oh, well, I've had a fast <laughs> day. <laughs> and are you going to say thank you to Granny Murray? Oh, thank come you, here, Granny Murray. And it's a big thank you to you for me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Take one thing at a time. <laughs> it saved the day. Well, I never did. Come on, you two. You'll want to be off home. <laughs> Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a train driver because we were having a special train day. Woo woo! <laughs> Raymond told me that the secret of running a train is timing. Then I took Lisa and the children to watch the trains arriving and leaving Riversea Fingal Station. It was very exciting to hear the noise they made and wonder where they were all going. When we got home, Mickey John brought round a real working train set. He set it up in the yard and we watched the train whiz round the track. We made some lemonade and drank it as Mickey John played with the train set again. <laughs> He's just like a big kid sometimes. Raymond fell asleep on the beach at Helen's Bridge and nearly missed his train back home. But as soon as he took one thing at a time, everything was sorted. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie.